Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another important conversion in number system. We are going to see octal to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to octal. Okay, so far we have seen lot of conversions. Like we started with radix to decimal, decimal to any radix. And then binary to octal, octal to binary and hexadecimal to binary and binary to hexadecimal. And today we are going to see octal to hexadecimal conversion and vice versa. Okay, so all the number system conversions are very simple steps. All you have to do is you have to remember the logic for each and every conversion. Okay, so today we will start with octal to hexadecimal conversion. And first we will see the rules and regulation for octal to hexadecimal conversion. Right? We have seen, we have converted the octal digit directly to the binary. Right? And similarly, we have converted hexadecimal directly to binary. Okay. And for octal to hexadecimal, what we have to do is we have to convert the octal number to a binary. And then we have to convert from binary to hexadecimal. You cannot directly convert octal to hexadecimal. Octal and hexadecimal are direct convert panna mudiyadu first octal and the binary maathano, and then binary and the hexadecimal maathano. okay so that is the first step that is convert each octal digit into 3 bit binary equivalent and then convert this binary number into hexadecimal number by grouping in 4 bits and the third step is if you need zero right if the zero is re required we can add it up right that is in the group Four groups of very grappa, one bit the left eye, rent bit the left eye, we can add sufficient zeros. Okay, and you already know what why is that you are using three digit here and why is that you are using four digits here. For octal, we can use 421 code, and for hexadecimal, you will use 8421 code for representation, right? And that is why we are using three digit and four bits. Okay, so in the Kumunani number on the octal to binary and binary to octal. Similarly, hexadecimal to binary, binary to hexadecimal video portugo. At the parkala abdina, first other path it is, then you, you come to this particular video. Okay. So now we will see the first conversion. You can see here, even if the question is not given directly, convert octal to hexadecimal from the base, you can understand. Right. This is the octal number. By looking at this base, I am telling it as an octal number. Okay. And we have to convert it to a 16 that is hexadecimal number right so every convert pattern bar right first thing what we have to do is we have to convert this octal number to binary octal to binary is the first step right so for that what i will use is i will use 421 code right so how can i write this like 5 5 1 0 1 right and similarly 2 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, that is 2, right? And similarly, for 5, and again, 1, 0, 1, right? And for 1, I will write as 0, 0, 1, right? And for 6, 1, 1, 0, that is, this is the binary equivalent for this octal number, right? And what we have to do is, we have to convert the octal to an hexadecimal number. Already know what is the rules to convert binary to hexadecimal. Right, apply that rule. That is for integer part, what you have to do, and for fractional part, what you have to do. For integer part, you got to start from LSB, and for fractional part, what you got to do, you got to start from MSB. Right, so you got to group it in four here. Right, so first of four, so you can see one zero one one, and then triple zero one right and only one is left so what i'm doing is i'm adding three zeros here right because you have to represent in four bits so i'm adding three extra bits three zeros here okay and similarly for fractional part what we have to do we have to start from msb right from here zero one zero one right that is the first one zero one zero one and then only zero one is left so zero one and then I am adding two zeros. Okay. That is the third step. The third rule. Right. If there is zero required, we have to add the equivalent zeros. Okay. Now we have to convert. We have to write the equivalent hexadecimal number. Right. You can see this is one and this is eight. You have to write it in eight, four, two, one, four. Right. And this is eight, four, two, one, which is 13. Right. 
8 plus 1, 12, and then 13. 13 is D, right? And this is 5, and this is 4. So, th for this octal number, the equivalent hexadecimal number is 18D.54. Okay. And similarly, we will see the next problem. The same steps. What you have to do? You have to convert the octal to hexadecimal. Okay. So, the first step is you have to convert the octal to binary. So, I am writing the binary equivalent by using 4 to 1 code. Right. And then, I have to group this into 4 to convert it to hexadecimal. Okay. For grouping into 4, you have to start the integer part from LSB to MSB and fractional part from MSB to LSB. Okay. And if needed, you can add zeros. Okay. And you can see the same steps I am doing. And then we have to write the equivalent hexadecimal number. This is 7, this is 7, and this is 0, and this is 6, and this is 8. So, the corresponding hexadecimal number for this octal number is 77.68. Okay. So, very simple steps. First one is you got to convert the octal number to binary. And then the second step is from binary to hexadecimal, you have to group it in four bits. And then you have to write the equivalent hexadecimal number. Right. And we will see how to convert hexadecimal to octal. Okay. Uh, before what we have said is we have converted octal to hexadecimal. Okay. The same steps but a small change in it. Okay. Here the first step is the given number is hexadecimal. So what we have to do? We have to convert the hexadecimal to binary. Like previous, previous thing what we have done? We have converted octal to binary. So now we are going to convert hexadecimal to binary first and then the binary number is converted to octal. That is second step. Right. And third step as usual. If zero is needed, you can add it out. Okay. So, you will see the problem. The same rules and regulation. Only thing is, we have to convert the hexadecimal to binary first. And then from binary, we have to group it in three bits because it is an octal number. Right. Okay. So, this is the question. You can see. From the, if the, even if the question is not given octal to hexadecimal or octal to hexadecimal or hexadecimal to octal, by looking at the base, you can understand this is hexadecimal and we have to convert it to octal number. Okay. So, this is the hexadecimal number and the first step is we need to write the equivalent binary value. Okay. What is F? F is nothing but 15. Right. F is 15. So, using 8421 code, you will write F that is all ones. If all one is equal to 15. Right. And similarly, what is A? A is nothing but 10. So, it is 1, 0, 1, 0. That is what written here. Right. And similarly, 6. What is 6 here? 0, 1, 1, 0. Right. And that is what written here. And similarly, again 6. Right. So, it is 0, 1, 1, 6. Okay. And the next one is C. Right. What is C? A is 10. B is 11 and C is 12, right? So, how will you write 12? It's 1, 1, 0, 0, right? It's 1, 1, 0, 0. So, it's 1, 1, 0, 0. You can see here. And this is B again. B is again 10 and 11, right? So, for 11, what you will do? 8, 0, 1, 1, right? 9, 10, 11, right? 1, 0, 1, 1. This is how we, this is how we have to write the equivalent binary value for hexadecimal. Okay. Now, after doing this, what we have to do? We have to group this into three bits. Okay. And as I said before, the same rules applicable for integer part. You have to start from MSB to LSB. Sorry, LSB to MSB. Okay. And for fractional part, you have to start from MSB to LSB. That is, you can see. This is the first group, 110, right? And this is second group, 001. And the third group, 100, right? And again, 010. And again, 110. And now, only one is left. So, I am adding two extra zeros here. Okay? Since here, only three bits required, so I am adding two zeros. Okay? And the right hand side, we got to start from MSB. So, it's 101, 011. And two, two ones is left, so I am adding one zero here, one one zero. Okay, so now we have to write the equivalent octal number. Okay, so you can write for one one zero, that is four two one. How will you write? It's six, and this is three, and this is five, 
and this is 6 again and this is 4 and this is 1 and this is 6 and this is 3 and this is 1. So for this particular hexadecimal number, this is the corresponding octal number. Okay, the same steps, only a small change is required. Okay, first we need to convert the hexadecimal to binary and then the binary is converted to octal. Okay, and this is another problem. You can see this problem. The question is given the same way that FF dot AB, right? And this is an hexadecimal number. We need to convert it to an octal. Okay, and now you got to write the equivalent, right? That is 8421, you got to write the binary value, right? So, B is 11. 11 is 1, 0, 1, 1, right? So, B. And A is 10. So, it's 1, 0, 1, 0. And 3, you know that? 0, 0, 1, 1. And for F, all the things is 1, right? And for F, all the things is 1, right? Now, once again, you got to group it in 3, right? You can see. 0, double 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, triple 1. Okay. And here right hand side, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 and 1, 1, you will add another 0 here. Okay. So now we have to write the equivalent octal number. Right. So this is 6. That is using 4, 2, 1 code. This is 6. This is 2. And this is 5. And this is 3. And this is 6. And again 7, 7. So for this hexadecimal, Number the corresponding octal number is 7763.526. For all the number system conversion, writing the answer is very, very important. Okay, even though you solve the problem, this carries one mark. Okay, you have to write the base correctly, right? So, this is the hexadecimal and this is the octal. Okay, so in this video, what we have seen is we have seen how to convert an octal to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to octal. More or less the similar steps. Only thing is you need to find out the equivalent binary value. First you need to convert to a binary and then from binary you need to convert to hexadecimal or octal. Okay. Hope you understand the logic behind it. Right. Thank you. Thank you students. Thank you for watching. Kandipa in the video you will be useful. Subscribe passionate professor and keep learning. Thank you very much.